Okay, hi everyone. Uh, so if you didn't see my last video, it was about uh, the software I put together to drive this uh, little display on this Raspberry Pi, uh, which is running Direwolf, which is for packet radio software. Um, if you're not an amateur radio person, this probably isn't the video for you. But if you watched the, my Direwolf, uh, not Direwolf, my Dire Watch video last time, um, you know, I kept threatening to put on some little LEDs here, and you can actually see those here, the uh, the green, uh, blue, and red LEDs. So I did I did add those. They're kind of redundant with the uh, the red and blue and green and Bluetooth status over on the Dire Watch display that's uh, keeping track of Dire Wolf for us. Uh, but I thought I'd demonstrate the LEDs. So you can see the receive is the green light. Um, that one's pretty obvious. Um, if we go run APRS Droid, which I'm going to do here, um, we can actually connect over Bluetooth. And it connects, and the blue light comes on, and it is insanely bright. Um, not sure what to do <laughs> about that. I guess I needed a bigger resistor. Um, I don't know why blue lights are bigger. There, I think the voltage drop across blue LEDs are, is more. I don't know. But anyways, it's bright, and the camera doesn't really care for it either. Um, but we have to deal with the, the Bluetooth <laughs> light. So we are connected via APRS Droid, and I just want to give you an example. I'll just do something real quick over APRS. Um, I'm going to send a message to WXBOT, and that's WXBOT, and say we want the weather. And I'm just going to type weather. I'm not, or just weather. I'm not even sure what we're supposed to type. Uh, say done. Say OK. And I'll let the radio speak for itself. And uh, as you notice, we did in fact get the weather back from WXBOT. Um, I'm eight miles east Auburn, California. There's a frost advisory this afternoon. Chance of uh, showers. Uh, chance of showers 50% and the high is going to be 44. It's kind of cool in cool California, but that blue light's just insane. But anyways, that's a good example of some LEDs that I added to this. Um, Dire Watch drives the blue LED because it keeps track of Bluetooth. Uh, the green LED is driven directly by Dire Wolf, actually. Um, it can light up a pin every time it hears a carrier. Uh, not just noise, but an actual 1200-baud uh, carrier. And then the red light, of course, is uh, I had to actually write a, a little script to watch the Dire Wolf push to talk GPIO pin and kind of mirror that. So if you go to my GitHub repository, uh, Krager L, um, you're going to see a mirror button script. And so this red LED just mirrors the push to talk pin. And of course, I had to solder up a bunch of a uh, bunch of new wires to these GPIO pins here, the, the lower GPIO pins. But anyways, I you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to disconnect from Bluetooth by stop tracking. That's Transmitting something, probably my position. Uh, maybe. You know, this is in Digipeter mode, so if there's any uh, personal messaging going on... Oh, I just got another act from WXBot. It will go ahead and repeat that regionally here, so it's probably helping someone out here. Um, and I am going to stop tracking, and uh, we'll see that blue light go out. I don't, I don't pull it constantly, but it will eventually go out. Yeah, it's out now. And actually, instead of putting this in Digipeter mode, I'm going to go ahead and uh, just drop it into plain old TNC mode. We're not going to repeat anyone's packets. But we are going to listen on Bluetooth, and we are going to forward uh, data on to uh, the APRS information service, everything that we hear. Um, so now we're in TNC iGate mode. And, of course, I can start tracking. Uh, if we want an insanely bright blue light, which we've got, and it just set my position. Um, I don't. I guess it has a GPS lock. That's highly unusual for this phone. Let me set my position again. And red light. Yeah, I don't think we got repeated. You know, this might be set up for satellite too. I don't. I don't know. Might. I don't. We didn't get repeated. Let me send it again. There it is. We got repeated. Um, so it's really that simple. So I just wanted to show off the, uh, the nifty LED lights on this uh, DigiPi. See my other videos for on how, how to actually build one of these, how to drive that little display, uh, maybe do the buttons. Um, you know, it'd be cool to do like a Bluetooth tutorial too, because it's never simple doing Bluetooth with Raspberry Pis. I don't, I don't know why they make it hard, but, uh, 
Anyways, that's it. LEDs are in. This thing is working great. Uh, this is KM6LYW Radio, and I'm clear. <laughs>